Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. The apartment, uh, we've been here since 1965. When I met Bill, he lived up in Washington Heights, and somehow by accident we found out that this was available, and we just fell in love with it the minute we saw it, and we've been here ever since. 50 years. 50, 50 some years. 50 some odd years. Yeah. I saw this fascinating looking person, and I was totally taken by him, and I thought, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. And sure enough, it was. And then I got my draft notice, and I thought, holy shit, meet a guy like this. I've been dreaming about this at least for the last four years. And my great fear was they'd send me to Europe or who knows where, and they did. He would write me every several days these wonderful letters about how he couldn't wait for me to come back, and we were off and running, basically. I went to school at night for nine years four nights a week, work full time. I never did a thing. Bill made my meals, he made the bed, he did the laundry. I mean, it was, it was unbelievable. When I was getting ready to graduate and I got my degree, I told Bill he will never ever, as long as we live, do the laundry again. And that was in 1971. And so he has never ever done the laundry since. We've been together in the 50s the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, the zeros, and now we're in the 11s. Seven decades. Inhale and puff. Keep it there. Okay, take it out of your mouth, put the clip in. Bill is definitely uh, in the early stages of Parkinson, and he's not as swift as he used to be. His attitude is wonderful. There are a lot of things he can't do quite as well as he used to do without any problem. But yes, he needs a little more help, and I'm glad I can do it. I was his project, now he's my project. It's a real privilege. I call it payback time. I'm paying him back for all he did for me uh, from day one. This is a letter dated December 5th, 1958. We met on December 6th, 1957. And it starts off, my dear John, one year ago today, exclamation point. I'm remembering the birth of my greatest and completed happiness on this day. I am the happiest and most grateful man. I have tried to tell you at so many times and in so many ways what it all has meant to me. And I must say it again today, that the joy I have known in being your friend has never been surpassed and it brightens every prospect for the future. I can only wish fervently that all these future days we can celebrate together and weld our affections in an ever strengthening bond. John, I think of you and can't wait to be with you. MTE Bill. MTE stands for more than ever. That's the way he always signed all these letters. That says it all. There you have it.